So in this fun in this problem, we're given this family of curves here and asked to determine which one is f f prime f double prime and since there's actually four of them here we could say f triple prime I suspect so let's look at it for a minute remember that each time we do the derivatives what we're doing we're graphing the slope of the previous curve so the f prime is the slopes of the f curve and f double prime is the slope of the f prime curve and so on so let's see here for a minute if we just start out here with d for a second so let's look at the slope of what d is so first of all the slope as we start up this curve is very positive and it slows down and hits zero right here well that's what this green line does and then the curve is negative, the slope is negative, all the way down until it hits the inflection point right here, which is where the slope would be zero, or be at its most, excuse me, at its most negative point. And then it comes on down and slows down here, so it approaches zero again. Still negative, but approaches zero. So that follows the green curve, doesn't it? And then the slope goes positive and gets greater and greater and greater, which is what this, this green curve does. So we know that C is the derivative of D. Okay, that's cool. So let's look now for a second at C. So C starts out with this really strong negative slope coming down through here and that slope right as we're coming down through here approaches zero as C hits a minimum point right here and then it starts to become positive first a small positive number and then a great positive number up through there well that looks like B doesn't it B is a very strong negative number comes up towards zero and then goes up becomes a very strong positive number so B we could say B we could say B is the derivative of C couldn't we okay now let's look at the b curve for a minute so b is the slope of it right is very strong positive very strong positive very strong positive starts to slow down doesn't it so it gets zero then continues to increase as well but still positive all the way on up well, isn't that what A is? A is a, is a very positive number. Positive, 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 positive. Gets, goes towards zero right here. At the same time that B is going toward this inflection point. And then coming out of the inflection point, it's still positive. Starts out kind of small and goes very large. So that follows the A curve. So that means A is the derivative of B. So all of this together tells us what? tells us that f, our function f is d, f prime is c, f double prime is b, and f triple prime is a. And so there we go.